Welcome back to the Unite Pieces channel. Today we are excited to recap an action, fantasy movie from 2012, starring Sam Worthington and Liam Neeson, titled Wrath of the Titans. A decade after his defeat, Perseus, son of Zeus, tries to live a quieter life in a fishing village and becomes a single parent to his ten-year-old son. Meanwhile, an upheaval occurs between the gods and the titans. Lulled by human nature, the gods lost control of the titan captive who was their ferocious leader Kronos, father of Zeus, Hades and Poseidon. Perseus couldn't ignore the call of his soul when Hades, along with Zeus' son Ares, made a deal with Kronos to capture Zeus. So, take a seat, prepare some snacks, and without further ado, let's get straight to the video. After becoming a hero in the first movie, Perseus, or the half-god man, decided to live as an ordinary fisherman along with his family. However, in this quiet life he lost his wife, and now only lives with his son, Helios. One night, the god Zeus, who is Perseus' father came to see him, he explained that people no longer prayed to the gods, so that the existing gods were no longer immortal and lost their power, so that it made Kronos who was held in the prison of the underworld, slowly began to release and would destroy the upper world. Kronos is an ancient titan or giant who is the father of the three main Greek gods, namely Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon. The purpose of Zeus saying all this is to ask Perseus for help, so that he will help him fight Kronos. But, Perseus refused, because he had to protect his only child. Because Perseus refused, Zeus then asked Poseidon for help, and also the god of war Ares, to go stop Kronos. They then went to the underworld prison and met Hades, then together they planned to kill Kronos before he could be freed. Unfortunately, it turned out that Hades and Ares betrayed, where they attacked Poseidon and also Zeus. Shortly from this incident suddenly appeared cracks underground, and from there came out various giant monsters, which unfortunately attacked the village where Perseus lived. Seeing his village attacked, Perseus reused his old equipment, and tried to defeat the creature to save Helios. After successfully defeating the creature from the underworld, Perseus and his son went to an old temple where humans used to worship the gods, in this place Perseus prayed to meet Zeus, but it was not Zeus who was present but Poseidon who was very badly injured. Poseidon explained that Hades and Ares betrayed and wanted to release Kronos, by absorbing the power of the god Zeus so that Kronos could rise again. Perseus then received a task from Poseidon to prevent Kronos from destroying the world, he also received orders to go to a place called the Fallen, a place where the god Hephaestos lived. To get to that place, Perseus had to look for the demigod son of Poseidon named Agner, who could take him there, and shortly after that the god Poseidon died, and turned into ashes. Getting a task from the gods, Perseus left his son to save the world by riding a pegasus or flying horse. He went to the country of Greece to meet an old friend of Perseus, namely the queen of Greece named Andromeda. Here Perseus asked if Andromeda knew a man named Agner, and apparently this agenter was a Greek prisoner who was famous as a master swindler. Then at the request of Perseus, Andromeda finally released Agner in order to help him to deliver him to the Fallen One. When he was released, Perseus and Agner went aboard a ship along with the Queen Andromeda, who also wanted to help them. Using the staff of Poseidon that Perseus carried, Agner was somehow able to move the ship, then take them to an ocean covered by fog. They arrived at a mysterious island, upon arrival at this island, they were attacked by a group of Cyclops, the giants of the One Gem. At the end of the fight, Perseus managed to knock down one of the giants, then he took out the trident of Poseidon. When he saw the trident, somehow the giants actually submitted to Perseus, and led them to where the god of Hephaestos was. God Hephaestos is a god who has forged the legendary weapons of the Greek gods, namely the trident of Poseidon, the fork of Hades, and the lightning spear of Zeus. When they met, Perseus immediately asked Hephaestos for help to save Zeus. At first Hephaestos immediately refused, but because of Andromeda's persuasion, Hephaestos finally agreed to help them. Here Hephaestos tells them that he is the one who has made a dungeon called Tartarus, which is where Kronos is held, he also knows a secret entrance to go there. They also went to follow the god to an old building, 
Unfortunately shortly after getting there, Ares suddenly came and killed one by one Andromeda's men. While Perseus was fighting Ares, Hephaestos quickly opened a secret door, but this door did not last long then closed again, so Hephaestos was forced to sacrifice himself to hold Ares, so that Perseus, Agner and Andromeda could enter there. Inside the building they were blocked by a very wide maze, but with the help of Agner they finally managed to find a way, and entered the underworld prison. Unfortunately arriving there, Zeus' power had been taken completely by Kronos, so Kronos began to rise again. However, when the world was headed for destruction, for some reason Hedda's nature suddenly changed and planned to help Zeus. Unfortunately, he was blocked by Ares and they fought. Utilizing the fight between Hades and Ares, Perseus came to save his dying father. Ares did not remain silent, he took Hades' staff and threw it at Zeus. Unable to leave there, Zeus unleashed his last strength with Hades and Poseidon's staff, he then moved them all back to Greece, where Andromeda's army had already gathered. Long story short, the dying Zeus told Perseus that he had to collect the three gods' staffs and unite them, so he could defeat Kronos. Because Perseus only had two weapons belonging to Hades and Poseidon, Perseus was forced to challenge Ares to take Zeus' staff that was on him. Perseus then prayed to Ares and asked him to meet at the old temple where the gods were worshipped. But their Ares did not come alone, because it turned out that he brought Helios, the son of Perseus. Without wasting time, they immediately fought. Perseus who is only half a god, of course cannot defeat the power of Ares who is a complete god. But when Perseus was about to lose, Helios came with a sword to help his father. Seeing his son in danger, Perseus's strength rose, he was able to beat Ares and quickly stabbed his heart, then took Zeus's staff and immediately killed Ares. After getting the three sticks of the gods, Perseus immediately united the three sticks into a spear weapon. While elsewhere, Agner and Andromeda and their troops desperately tried to block Kronos and the monsters that came out of the underworld prison. At first they were almost defeated, but Hades secretly came to see the dying Zeus, and gave half of his divine power so that Zeus could rise again. Together, these two brothers helped Andromeda's army defeat the monsters and also helped attack Kronos. Utilizing the help of Andromeda's army along with the god Zeus, Perseus immediately flew closer to Kronos while carrying a spear. He skillfully dodged all of Kronos' attacks, and entered his mouth, then he threw the spear into Kronos' body, so that Kronos exploded and broke into pieces. Once he finished defeating his enemy, Perseus went to see Zeus who was dying. Zeus also expressed his apologies because he could not be a father to Perseus, then he said his farewells. Then Zeus finally died and turned into ashes. With the death of the great god Zeus, the time of the gods really ended, and Hades decided to live as a human. Perseus then ventured to express his feelings to Andromeda. The movie ends with a scene where Perseus gives his sword to Helios, and becomes the beginning of his adventure to become a human protector. What do you think of this movie? Please write your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, and support our channel by subscribing, so that we stay motivated to create more interesting content for you to enjoy. And until next time.